I am pulling some eBay inventory today. Items that sold in one day. I actually ended up selling an item twice in about one week. So stick around till the end of the video to hear that reseller drama in a new segment that I'm calling Reseller Reality. Without further ado, let's get into what sold. Back in the inventory room, I sold an Ariat shirt on Poshmark, $20. It's out of April 29, 2022. I'm going to get through here and find that. I'll be right back. And here she is. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill back in April. So it did take a while to sell. I accepted an offer of $20. I probably did have it priced too high seeing that it's Ariat, but it sold and is on to its new home. Keep your eye open for these Western Pearl Snap shirts. If you like this kind of video where you get right to the what sold and they sell for more than $15, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, which tells me you love this kind of video and I will continue to make more of them. I sold a Chico's blouse, $31 shipped on eBay from June. It was June 1, so we'll see if it's up here on top. If not, I will have to put this down and find it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this down. I'll be right back. And here it is from the June 1, 22 bag, a Chico's size 4. Chico's does vanity sizing. This is a plus size 2X. I remember this day I picked up two of these plus size shirts. One sold quickly. This one did take a while to sell, but for $31, it was worth the wait. Also from June, I sold a Big Dogs long sleeve polo shirt from June 18th. So I'm going to put you guys down and I'll be right back once I find that. And here it is. GS for garage sale, June 18th, 2022. I picked up three of these big dog polo shirts for about 50 cents each. One was white, one navy blue, and there's a green one still down there. I sold the navy blue one quickly. The white one just sold for $15 shipped. I sold a Harley Davidson t-shirt from October 2022. It was a cut off shirt sleeveless in pretty bad condition. It sold for $22 shipped. I accepted a best offer of 13, which is less than I wanted, but considering I've had it since October and uh, if it's not in the best condition, I went ahead and accepted that offer. So let's see, here's October 30th. It should be in here right here like I said it is in rough shape kind of faded and the sleeves are cut off but you know what it sold for $22 shipped so I will take it from May of 2021 I sold a new with tag lucky brand shirt I probably had it priced high because it was new with tags um, I didn't realize lucky brand was also sold at Costco so I may have priced it too high but it did sell for $17 shipped so let me find that and I'll be right back very bottom of the tub in the very bottom bag like I said it was new with tags retail price $59 I accepted a an offer on this one and it sold for $17 shipped on eBay so let me know if you think I undersold it again I've had this since 2021 so I'm just happy to see it go Next, we're moving up top. I sold an Athleta t-shirt, extra small. It's in the August 2021 tub. It sold for $15 shipped. So I sold it for $8 and the buyer paid $7 shipping. Again, I probably had it overpriced. I've had it since 2021. When the offer came in of $8, I was happy to see it go. So I'm going to get up there and find this Athleta tee. I'll be right back. All right, so I had to pull down the tub. It was not easy to find, but there is 811.21, and this is the blue Athleta t-shirt. Again, simple blue Athleta, $15 shipped on eBay. And then I sold some Ray Dunn egg 
containers. I'm not real sure what an egg container is, but they're in this July tub. So I'm going to, I hope they are. They could possibly be in one other location, but I'm hoping they're in this July tub since it's not marked otherwise. I'm going to dig through here and see if I can find them. I'll be right back. Okay, so I dug out the egg containers. They are Ray Dunn, new in the box. I paid $2 for these. They sold for $25 shipped on eBay. They are rather cute, and they are, let's see, three bunny egg cups. There is a story behind these. They've sold once before. Stick around for the rest of the story. We will get into that later on in the video. And the best sale so far today has been this old iomega zip drive i used to use this way back when and i found it in that storage tub under the stairs where i did that cleanup under the stairs for ebay inventory i will post that before shot here this iomega zip drive was in that white plastic container so i threw it up on ebay and it sold for 76 dollars shipped for those of you not familiar, this is the zip drive and I tested it and it does still work. I will take another video for my new channel for testing products and post it on there. Uh, this is an I iOmega zip drive. So back to the egg holders. I purchased these in July of 2021. They've been on eBay and all my other selling platforms since. They were posted on eBay for $18.21. And an offer came in of $13. However, the buyer thought they could set their own shipping charge of $3. So take a look at this. After I accepted her offer of $13 plus $9 for priority shipping, I did want to ship them priority as they were glass. And for those of you that don't know, USPS, the Postal Service, offers free insurance on priority mail. So I did want it to ship priority mail, which is higher than first class, so $9 shipping charge. Immediately after I accepted her offer, she sent this message, did I not offer free shipping? So let's go back. She actually offered $3 shipping. So I don't know where the free shipping came in, but there was no way that I could ship these glass items for $3. Even first class shipping would have been at least $6. And besides that, when do buyers set the shipping charge? <laughs> do you see the problem here? When are buyers saying what they're going to pay for shipping? The post office determines that charge. Not me or the buyer. <laughs> Okay, I can laugh about it now, but at the time it just was not funny. So I replied, I replied back that shipping is not free. So once I sent her that message, she immediately put in a cancellation notice and said that she ordered the item by mistake, which again, I was not happy with. I don't see how buyers can get away with this. So I did let it ride till the very last day. I was under no obligation to accept the cancellation. I had a no return policy on these egg holders, but I did not want to get a negative feedback over $13. I am a top rated seller on eBay with 100% feedback score. Okay, so leave a comment below and let me know what you would have done in this situation. Would you have gladly accepted the cancellation request? Would you have shipped the items for $3? Would you have blocked this buyer from future purchases? Leave a comment below and in that comment for my own personal humor, leave the egg emoji. So I waited till the very last day to accept the cancellation request and refunded her money. I also then relisted the item and guess what? It sold the very next week for even more money. So the buyer did pay my full asking price of $18.21 plus the $9 priority shipping. They did use my 10% off coupon, so they saved $1.82. So my profit on the $2 Ray Dunn egg holders was $11.55. I just shared with you some of the items that I pulled for shipping in one day that I sold on eBay and Poshmark. If you found this video entertaining, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And many of you that are watching have not yet subscribed, 
So please consider becoming a fan of Piece of Scrap and click that subscribe button. I will link another entertaining video here. Continue watching.